great program. Well, as we've been telling you, the Kaiser Permanente Colfax Marathon is coming up in a little less than a month. And while it's a very popular event, there are a number of other events taking place around the marathon that you don't have to be a runner to enjoy. That's right. Joining us now is Sherry Jo Stoll from the city's Park Rec Parks, Recreation and Open Space Division and Crystal Gardner from the House of Flowers and Chair of the Aurora Arts District here to tell us all about the great events happening in just a couple of weeks. Thanks so much for joining us. So now it sounds like North Aurora will be a busy place the second weekend of May, so tell us about some of the activities. It'll be really busy and um, it's a great thing for North Aurora. Building upon that uh, Kaiser Permanente Colfax Marathon, we have a few events happening. The runners this year that are running the half marathon will be coming right here through Aurora, mm -hmm. so that's great for mm -hmm. the city. Um, and they're going to run right past the newly renovated city park, which is why I'm here. We're really <laughs> excited about that awesome. new park. Um, then they're going to run through the fire doors of Fire Station 1 and back down um, kind of past the Aurora Arts District. Well, that's a kind of a neat treat to get to run through the fire station, too. It so. is. It'll be fun for the runners. And, of course, the park. Yes. So. <laughs> yeah, I know it. Well, you said it's going through Aurora and all these great places. This is something kind of new. Uh, the, the route has kind of gone in a different direction this yes, year. Yes, it's changed the past few years. Mm -hmm. um, they're going to be running right past City Park, which is a newly renovated park. It's actually Aurora's oldest park. Mm -hmm. um, it includes a new skate park now, a great skate plaza, lots of kids hang out there, new basketball courts, walking paths. Wow. It's a really great healthy outdoor space now. Yeah. And we're going to celebrate it that weekend. And so tell us about the grand opening. I'm sure you're going to have a big celebration for that. We are. Um, on Saturday, May 14th, from 2 o'clock until 4 that afternoon, we're going to be celebrating with family fun activities um, and a skateboard demonstration, all kinds of fun things. And that will all culminate at 4 o'clock with the park dedication and an official ribbon cutting. Awesome. Now there's also something else going on that weekend, and that lends us over here to, to Crystal. Tell us about the, what, the Fire Arts Festival, is how you say it. Well, I'm really excited about the Fire Arts Festival. The Aurora um, Arts District is starting Friday night, May 13th, with Art on the Facts. And we will have a iron sculpture demonstration at Martin Luther King Library on Colfax. Also, May 14th, right after the park dedication, we will begin with a street fair. And we will have well-known food vendors there, art from local artists, and we'll have activities like face painting and all kinds of other things for kids to do. Mm -hmm. We're excited. We want people to come out and see what's going on in our arts district. Then we'll end up with a, um, the Fire Arts Festival, the Iron Pour. The Iron Pour. That's wow. really exciting and something anybody can get involved in, but something really unique for that area. Yeah, it really is. It's the first time that it's been done in Aurora. Yeah. And um, it'll be interactive. You'll be able to do your own sculpt seven by seven inch sculpture. So that's really exciting. Yes, it is. So how can people get involved? Well, first, come out, you know, come join us. Um, invite others to come out and see us. Start with the park dedication. Come to the street fair, have some food. Join in on the fun activities and then stay for the iron pour. Mm -hmm. I know that you're excited about this because a lot of attention has been drawn to what used to be the East End Arts District. It's now the Aurora Arts District. It's hard to kind of get those words out now, but that's a new name for you and it's very exciting. Well, what it really says that the arts are in Aurora that's right. and Aurora is becoming part of the well-known arts district from all over Colorado. And people from all over Colorado are visiting the area just for that reason. So Yes, we really believe that is. So Great. We wanted to hop onto an already established event and mm -hmm. make it bigger. That's Great right. Idea. Well, like, like we said, there's a lot going on that weekend. We thank you so mm -hmm. much uh, both yeah. for joining us. We've got a couple weeks left to promote it. We'll get as many people out there as possible that we can, but we appreciate you being here today. Um, there is a marathon of activities planned the weekend <laughs> of May 13th through the 15th. You can check out the event schedule online at auroraartsdistrict.com or call 303-344-4310. And again, the City Park Grand Opening will take place on Saturday, May 14th. That's from 2 to 4 p.m. If you have questions about that, you can go to auroragov.org slash parks or call 303-739-7161.